Hey there, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to use some of the other visualization panels available in Grafana. And before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and add a new data source. So I'm just going to go ahead, go to connections and then go to data sources. And then here we can click on add new data source. And here let's search for test. Now you can see we have test data. So test data source is quite useful when you want to generate some dummy data and want to use that dummy data in Grafana panels. So for quick demonstration or quick learning purpose where you don't have test data you can use this grafana test data source so let's go ahead and click on save and test and now let's go ahead and click on explore view now here you can see in the scenarios we have many options for example we have random walk which is going to generate random value now here you can see it is just generating some random value at certain interval and here we can control these intervals for example you can define max interval min interval number of series count for example here you can see now we have only one trend line and it is named as a series let's say if we want Want maybe three trend lines we can just go ahead change it to three and now you can see we have a series a series one and two so basically we have three trend lines now let's say you want to start at some particular value for example let's say we want to start it from five so in that case you can just set it to five and then you can see it is going to start from five and then going to gradually increase or decrease and here again if you want to control min and max value for example you want the minimum value to be let's say one and you want the maximum value to be only around 30 so in that case you can define these as well and in that case you can see the range of this trend line is going to be from 1 to 30. Now the other uh, thing which we can use is for example here you can see we have CSV content so let's go ahead and click on CSV content. Now here you can just paste any tabular kind of data for example let's say we are going to have employee data in that case I can have employee ID as the column and then I can also have for example age I can also have gender and I can start populating data for example employee ID is 1 and I can have age of let's say 20 gender of male now let's go ahead click on run query and here you can see we have data in a table structure so we can make use of these dummy data in order to just see some of the visualization panels available in Grafana again these are something which is not really necessary but yeah it is quite useful if you want to just quickly test because many of you who are learning are not going to have all the available data sources and that might restrict you to use all of the Grafana panels available. So in that case you can go ahead and use this dummy data. Now let's go ahead go to home and we are going to go ahead and create a dashboard and we are going to click on add visualization. Let's go ahead and select this Grafana test data source and in this case we are going to use table and here again we are going to change this scenario from random walk we are going to change it to CSV content. Now let's say we have product information stored and in that case we want to like to visualize product information in a tabular kind of structure. In that case we can go ahead and start populating the dummy data. For example let's uh, keep it product ID and then we can call it product price and then you might have product image and then you might also have total sales for that product so let's go ahead and add total sales and now let's add our first product id as maybe p1 and we are going to give a product price of let's say 200 a product image we are going to paste in a moment but for now let's say we can just add a placeholder so let's assume it is a car so we are just going to call it car.jpg or car.svg and then we can add total sales so let's say we had a total sales of 200 cars sell Now as soon as you move focus out of this query, let's say you click anywhere, you can see the data available here. Now here in a table visualization, there are various options which we can use. For example, let's go ahead first of all, give it a name of or title of product info. Now here in the table sections, you can control various behavior of this table. For example, let's say if you don't want to show this table header, in that case, you can go ahead and disable this table header. Now in this case, it doesn't make sense to not show the header. So I'm just going to go ahead and enable it again. You can again decide the cell height, whether it is going to be small, medium or large. If you have, let's say too many items available, for example, let's say if you have maybe thousands of product, you may want to enable pagination. In that case, you can go ahead and enable it. Now in this case, of course, doesn't make sense to enable pagination because there are very less entries so let's go ahead and just disable it now if you scroll down you can see we have footer information available as well so footer is quite useful where you want let's say summarization or maybe you want some average price or something so in that case you can go ahead and add table footer now here you can see in the calculation we have total but let's say if you want to change it to maybe average in that case i can just go ahead and select mean now you can see the average sales and here also you can see the average product price now let's say for total sales maybe you don't want to show the average you want to show the sum and for product price you want to show the average in that case we have to handle it through override 
rights so we may try to do that as well for now let's go ahead and just change it to mean for now let's go ahead and leave it to mean and in case you want to apply this calculation only to a specific field in that case you can choose the field from here for example let's say i am interested in calculation only on total sales so in that case i can select total sales and you can see now the calculation from product price has been removed now if you want to add to product price as well like i can again go ahead and add product price or if you are interested only in product price you can just keep product price and remove total sales now in this case let's keep both of them now here in the cell type you can see we have various options i'm going to show you this thing in the overrides for now let's just change it to auto and here in the units again you can go ahead and change the unit uh, for now everything looks okay here okay so these are the various things which you can control now let's go ahead and click on overrides and now we are going to let's say override one of the properties for total sales so let's go ahead and click on add field override and now we are going to select field with name and let's say we are interested in total sales so i'm just going to go ahead and select total sales and here we can click on add override property and we can change the cell type for example now let's say i want to change it from auto to maybe colored background so here you can see we have this colored background now the color of this background is coming from threshold for example here you can see we can go to all and here you can see base value is set to green so anything from 0 to 79 or basically anything less than 80 is going to have green value and anything from 80 onwards is going to have red backgrounds now in this case for example let's say if anything is more than 250 okay when we have 250 sales we want to show that in green otherwise we want to show that in red so in that case for base we can go ahead and change that to maybe let's say red and here we are just going to change it to 250 and i'm going to go ahead and change the color to green now here you can see background is showing accordingly now let's go ahead and click on apply so here you can see this is how the table structure is going to look like of course we can go ahead and click on edit and we can play a little bit more here for example let's say for the overrides we want to we don't want to change the background we just want to change the color text so in that case you can go ahead and select color text you can also make it interesting by adding gauge in that case this is how it's going to look like and we can also add data links or json view or images now let's go ahead and keep it colored background and let's click on apply now we are going to see how to add product images so i have to search for some svg images now i just found this github repo where we have some svg images available so in this case i can see this car svg image now here i'm just going to go ahead and copy this url let's go ahead copy it and we are going to edit this now here where we have pasted car.svg i'm just going to go ahead and replace car.svg with the url of the svg image now you can see here we are seeing the url but we want to change it to image which we are going to do in a minute but now let's go ahead and search for other as well so i'm just going to search for let's say motorcycle here we can see we do have motorcycle as well i'm just going to go ahead copy this and going to paste here for motorcycle and let's go ahead and search for bicycle as well and here let's just go ahead and paste this as well now let's go ahead and click on apply so now you can see we are not really seeing the image what we are seeing is the link so it means we need to change the property of this as well now we are going to go ahead click on edit and we can go to overrides now we are going to add one more override so here you can see we have override one which is responsible for changing the background color now let's go ahead and click on add field override let's select the field with name now we are going to select product underscore image which is this one and going to change the cell option cell type and going to make it image and then click on apply okay so at the moment i don't really see the image so i'm just going to check what is wrong here so i guess we have to make slight changes for example rather than copying this url what we have to do is we have to just right click here and then select copy image address and let's go ahead edit it and here i'm just going to change this bicycle to the new url and let's click somewhere else now you can see bicycle icon appearing here now let's go ahead and change it for car as well so let's go ahead select car and again we can right click and select copy image address we can go ahead and change this and for the motorbike as well let's go ahead and do that okay now let's go ahead click on apply so you can see images here so that's all about table panel if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and i'll see you again in the next lesson